Just a reminder, our YouTube videos are demonetized and now contain no ads. This week's check-in video is brought to you by Murphy, D-Rogue, and Cookser97. If you'd like to support more video content in the future, make sure to subscribe to us on our Patreon. Morning, everybody. Thanks for checking out a, another week's check-in video. Uh, a couple things to show off. Um, pretty much a recap of what I blogged about last week, but wasn't really able to show off uh, due to various issues. Um, you can see right off the bat here uh, the new style and uh, coloration and theming of the interface. Um, I got a basic, just uh, like a high visibility uh, green one going on here. Um, and you can see there's like an image in the background that I have back there too. And all of this is done uh, through the configuration file. There's a new section in there for the theme. And it allows you to define all the various different parts of the program's colors. Um, you can even make images instead of just solid colors for each of these. Uh, so if you wanted images for the buttons, uh, background, so, so on and so forth, you can do that as well. Um, it really just, it, it makes it a lot more accessible to the user to change the color of it instead of just uh, the program going by the Windows theme color, uh, which doesn't always work out so well. Um, another big thing that I talked about uh, that I have started to get it to actually work. Um, I've been working on it the whole time, but now it's actually uh, working. Is input devices are now driven by plugins, and this one here uh, it's driven by my DualShock 4 plugin, which is the first one that I'm working on, of course. Um, more to follow, uh, especially with all the controller. Um, debug information you guys have been sending me. I have a lot more controllers that I can add now, so uh, can't wait to start getting some plugins working for those. Um, but right now it's just the input device. Uh, I do hope to have um, like some mapping plugins as well as output device plugins uh, in the future. Um, but I just wanted to get started on the input device because that's the most most likely the one that people are going to want to modify to have their device supported. Um, and next up is the output devices because I really need to get cracking on the new version of VGEM that uh, Benjamin has released um, because it looks like the uh, the Windows signing for the old one that we're using, the Scarlet Crush Virtual Bus, um, it doesn't look like that that's really working anymore. The, the certificate's expired and Windows has become a lot more strict as to its driver signing and what it will allow. Um, so people are having issues installing that driver. Uh, so I'm really, I'm go gonna double down on trying to hurry up and get a uh, version which uh, has the new VGEM fully supported and not just in an alpha state. Um, Benjamin has released uh, a new signed version of that driver which is Windows 7 through Windows 10 compatible. Previously it was just Windows 10 because that's all he was working on. Uh, but now that it's Windows 7 through Windows 10, uh, it'll allow us to get it to people more widespread. Uh, there's still a lot of people that haven't adopted Windows 10 yet. So um, that's, the, that's what's going on this week. Uh, that's the work I've been working on. Uh, if you stay tuned today, there is going to be a Tipsy Tuesday. Um, this time I'm going to be building a new PC though. So uh, if you guys want to jump in there and uh, chit chat about some input mapper stuff and ask me some questions or uh, shoot me some suggestions in a live chat, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll be up on YouTube and uh, I think it'll be on Twitch as well, as well as Reese, or, um, the Stone, the, the Microsoft one, Beam. Uh, it'll be up on Beam. Um, I'm not sure what time it is because I'm actually waiting on the mailman to deliver the last few parts that I need for it, uh, but probably about 1, 2-ish uh, Eastern time. So uh, keep an eye out for that. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Everybody have a good one. See you next week.